Hey, it's a great day. I'm Mike Current, Energizer. Today is day 136 on the Continental Divide Trail. So let's do this. So right now it's 5.30 in the morning. Normally this is the time Dee Dee, Mash and I are on the trail walking. But it's raining really hard and it's cold. It rained all last night. I mean, just buckets. Buckets. I've never been on a trail where it's rained so much. So we're waiting. As soon as it stops raining, we'll start the day. But uh, yeah, we all don't want to get a hypothermia. So we're waiting for the rain to end, then we'll get out, get going. Should be an interesting day. It's almost eight o'clock. Still raining as uh, as you can hear. We're thinking about packing up soon. It's supposed to end soon. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those days. Do you hear the elk? Yeah. All right, what time is it? Oh, seven. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. <laughs> Best part of waking up. Boulders in your cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be a great day. Great day. <laughs> oh. What's up? Yeah, someone blocking it. Looks like the right way. Been up around almost 8,000 feet, making my way back down into the valley. Hopefully the mud won't be so bad. A lot of staring and heavy breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Mash is watching me eat. Well, just living vicariously through you. Some beavers built a dam, caused the uh, trail to flood. So we're looking for a way around it. Yeah, you can see the. See the beaver dam right there. I think I'm gonna get wet. Oh, no worries.
Rain stopped. Walking through Burn Forest right now. couple you just huh? passed. Oh, you're traveling with them? Yeah. Yeah, they're just faster than yeah. me. Right. Are you up here? I got one more behind me. He's back there talking with that couple. Oh, okay. We're just heading up to uh, up here around Park, spend the night. That's about 20, 22 miles for us today. Oh, wow. Good deal. Uh, we're going to go to Lake Laval tomorrow. Pass that just a little bit. Take care. You, Love the horses. So closing out day 136, yeah, it, it was a day. Uh, we uh, departed camp about 9 a.m. Uh, it rained most of the day, but it wasn't that hard rain we experienced overnight with the strong winds. Uh, but yeah, it did come down on us. And the trail was, was quite muddy most of the day, so just trying to trudge through it and slip sliding away. We wound up doing 17 miles, and yeah, we worked hard for the 17. You know, uh, I probably won't look back on the last three days on the Continental Divide Trail with a lot of fond memories. Uh, probably seeing the Chinese Wall and crossing that Beaver Dam today. Probably two exceptions. But I think I will look fondly back on how Knee Deep Mash and I responded to the adverse weather conditions. Uh, uh, there's a lot of places on the Continental Divide Trail, the um, wilderness we just crossed through being uh, part of that, where if you get in trouble, you know, it, it doesn't matter what satellite communicator you have or personal locator beacon. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. The rescue isn't going to get to you. You know, and if you don't make smart decisions, it's going to be too late by the time they, they get there. Uh, and there are plenty of stories of hikers that are experienced and they're very good but they make some simple mistake that leads to a cascading chain of events that ends in tragedy. And so, and the weather conditions we experienced the last three days uh, could lead to something like that. And so, yeah, I, I'm not going to look back on the last three days with a lot of fondness, but I am very proud of how I think Need Eat Mash and I made smart decisions and kept ourselves warm and dry and safe. Yeah. See you tomorrow.